in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Go ahead and pray in tongues. Sekata bakata prende gede bela daba. Zende kapa kapro zatela makaria daba lada. Zete prekete bela daba koso prondo koko bakate bela daba daba. Everyone, go ahead and pray. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together all across this auditorium and outside. And let's pray in the spirit. Zeta ka ba 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 ra da ba la da ba. Zede ba ka prende ka de ba la da 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 ba. Zeka ta ta ba 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 ba. Lord, we make a connection in the spirit. Zeta ba ka pro zeta le ba 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 ba. Mem prate ka ta prende ka de ba la da ba. Ra ba ba ka bo soto ba la da ba. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Leba sata pratesha leba kopra dosu baladara. Shibe koso tola bakariere balada bakanda prenda gede balada ba. Enda da da ba koso to praga da balada ba. Rakata ba 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 kata praga da balada ba. E prenda kata ba kata proso to balada ba. Zenda kapra skala ba konya da balada ba. Site ba 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 ba. Dena masina mana mosso praga na mana na 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 mos. Shake it, break it, mana na mos. Raka ta ba 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 ba. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Let the kata proso tomo konya na mana na. Shake it, ba 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 ba. Shake it, shake it, mana na mana na mos. Maka ba 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 ba. Come on, pray. Leketa parata ba shata ba la ba 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 ba. Rekete po soto prondo soto la ba 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 ba. Rekete prete ba la la ba. Ekre tu soba tu se lekete ba la ba 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 ba. Manta preste ba la la ba la la ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and then we'll sit down. Lord, in this season, as you're making men great, no power in existence will stop me. Lift your voice and pray. In this season, oh God, when you are making men great, in this season, when you are separating men unto glory, in this season when you are beautifying the lives of men no power will stop me no devil will stop me no destruction will stop me grace to pray the price it takes grace to pay the price Come on, pray, Koinonia. Rekete kalabaka soto bali amakai. 
Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says she called him Jabez because she bought him in sorrow. She named his destiny Jabez. And a time came when Jabez took responsibility and he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my story. Let me tell you, God is making great men in this season. I have seen it in the spirit. I know it. I began to share it with us. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shalt increase my greatness. One moment Joseph was a prisoner and then the other moment he was a prime minister. Who am I speaking to tonight? I'd like you to pray and say, Father, in this season, don't do it without me. As you are anointing men in this season, Lord, don't do it without me. As you're shaking cities, as you're raising financial apostles, don't do it without me. As you're raising saviors to deliver families, don't do it without me. I am a light to my generation. Don't do without me. Lord, I know you can do without me. But don't do without me. Let me be featured in this prophetic move of the Spirit. Lord, you're looking for men that you will anoint with greater levels of power. I'm available. I'm available. And I'm usable in this prophetic season as you're looking for leaders, men of influence. I'm available. Lord, you're looking for men who will see things in the spirit. Don't do without me. Listen. Hallelujah. Tonight's teaching and prayer is very important. God is searching for men in this season. Men who will be envoys. Hallelujah. I love that song. Lord, if you're doing great things in this city, don't do it without me. That's my prayer unto God. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, as you anoint in man in this season please don't do it without me don't do it without me oh lord as you're changing cities in this season don't do it without me Pray that as he's changing your family in this season, he will use you as an instrument. Hallelujah. Lord, we are available. We are available. Oh, I'm available. I'm available. As you're looking for men to carry levels of the anointing that have not been seen, don't pass me by. I'm available. I'm available. As you're seeking for men of kingdom influence, I'm available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem has never been that God is unable to bless or reach us. 
the problem has always been that the vessels it's not enough to be available you must be usable there are vessels that are available but are not usable hallelujah and tonight the line of my teaching is to prepare us to be usable don't let anyone fool you god does not just use everybody there are exact requirements hallelujah it's not enough to be available you must be usable so i want you to listen tonight because tonight i believe that somebody will encounter the anointing you have been praying for that anointing you know that can separate you see it doesn't take time it just takes your your cooperation with the spirit God bless you. Be seated. There's no space outside. Come in. Sit anywhere. Sit on the floor. Whatever it is. You are the fire in me. You are the power at work in me. You are my ever-present helper. Holy Spirit, I adore. Please give me volume, Mike. You are the fire in me. Hey, you are the power at work in me. You are my ever present helper. Holy Spirit, I adore. So take my heart. Take my mind, transform me, take my will, conform me to yours. That's the price it will take to carry the genuine anointing of the Spirit. Sing it one more time. Take my Take my heart and mold it. Clean it from the depths of your heart. Take my mind, transform it. Take my will, conform it. dimensions of power and grace and influence are available in the spirit but there is a price this is this the best of the volume can you help us can it be louder hallelujah one of the greatest tragedies of men is that they have deceived themselves into believing there is no price for glory, for influence, and for spiritual power. Please, before I start tonight, I can kneel down and beg you. Don't let anybody confuse you. Not everything in the spirit is a gift. Some things in the spirit are rewards. Please don't let everybody fool you. That because Jesus has paid the price, everything is just a gift. Certain things in the spirit are rewards. It is part of the justice system of the kingdom. God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. It takes a dealing. For now I know that thou Abraham fearest me. Now 
not when you left your house now i know god loves everybody but he does not trust everybody don't just say because i'm born again i'm blessed watch the bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked and so before god uses you there is a system of purging out that wickedness in your heart and it refines you and makes you usable Hallelujah. Refine as fire. Be sensitive to what God is doing tonight. My heart's one desire is to be holy. I'm set apart. For you, Lord, I choose to be holy. I'm set apart for you, my master. I am ready to do your will. Lord, I am ready to do your will I am ready to do your will and I will worship the Lamb of glory I will worship the King of Kings I will worship the Lamb of glory I will worship the King and with my hands lifted up I will worship and sing with my hands lifted up I come before you rejoicing with my hands lifted up and the world wonders why and I'll just tell them I'm loving my king. Oh, 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 oh. I will tell them I'm loving my king. I love you, Lord. And I lift my hands to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In your ears, Father, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In your ears, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Spirit of the living God, we submit to your authority. Change us. You are seeking men in this season that you will be able to trust with deep things. And Lord, these things are the deep things of God. And Father, we make ourselves available we make ourselves available i make myself available we refuse to be carried away with ministry i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made 
and all that has taken my heart Lord I will bow to you to no other God but you Lord Hallelujah While seated, can you just tell the Lord how serious you are as far as being trusted with the divine things of the Spirit is concerned? I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land all I want is you I'm determined to pay any price it will take to be used by God. Any price. I don't care what it is. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Lord, I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. How I love to live for you. And how I love to stand for you. And even though it hurts me, for every step I take And even though it pains me For every move I make But I love you Lord, I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you, Lord. I truly love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. For there's an army rising up. I'm part of this army rising up. I know there's an army rising up I'm convinced there's an army Mike please strings please strings rising up there's an army hey, hey, hey. we are rising up there's an army Rising up, hey, there's an army, unshakable army, an army of power. There's an army, he's rising up. Say na 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 boss. There's an army, rising up across territories across nations there's an army rising up and they will break every chain break every chain break every chain that's the assignment to break every chain hallelujah this is why we do the things that we do 
there is truly an army there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army they are rising up they will break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain hallelujah listen there is an emergence of spiritual men please listen to me there is an apostolic emergence of spiritual men not just men who are spiritual spiritual men a man can do spiritual things it doesn't make him a spiritual man there are women who are rising Deborah's, a prophetic generation women with the eyes of an eagle women with ears that can hear every sound there are men of influence that god is raising you may look ordinary right now because there's no money or there's no anointing you wait until the holy ghost is done with you this is not about english this is not about those who can speak no there will be a demonstration an enforcing of the kingdom men who know no limits like daniel and shadrach meshach and abednego they will walk through fire and nothing will happen to them they have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom the things that scare men no longer scare them they understand the principles that create the effect in this realm these are the kinds of people that God is raising. Not just men that can pray. Not just men who can just talk. No. Men of understanding. The sons of Issachar. Men who can look to the sky and understand what the language of the spirit is. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising now. There's an army. They are rising up to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah listen dominion is an enforcing of kingdom authority and i was sharing with the leaders i sense that very soon the power of god is just going to start breaking out in this place i've just been flowing as the holy spirit is leading me i'm going to teach and will pray and will worship sing teach and worship let's just flow with what god is doing hallelujah dominion listen 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 Dominion is not guesswork. Dominion is not an impartation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no such thing as I impart upon you dominion. Dominion is the natural consequence of holding the keys of the kingdom. That's what the Bible calls the keys of David. Dominion. The Bible says, and it has been given unto you that you will know the mysteries of the kingdom god shrouds himself with mysteries and the more you begin to press into god you have to keep unlocking mystery after mystery the mystery of creation the mystery of the power of god the mystery of wisdom the mystery of the word of god the more you catch this mystery something happens to you here and now in your mortal physical body that translates you that's why the bible says 
for one star different from another in glory not in shape so you may be ordinary but on the strength of the mysteries that you know you can make proclamations in the realm of the spirit it's not trial and error it's a realm if you are not there you are not there there's no guessing um, you can wear suit and fake it if you are not there you are not there you function only from the strength of that realm and i will give you the mystery It is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one go and he will go and tell another come and he will come brothers and sisters that is dominion there is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say forget it you threatened people yesterday but right now I speak to you there is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder heaven has been seen part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord heaven answers this is what you are seeing there is there is no magic about it and it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen it's not an effect it's a realm of existence you can come there This is what, by the grace of God, we seek to bring everyone. Because it's not a thing about a man of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The realm where his voice is no longer strange. And then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men. Circumspectly. The realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist because you're operating from the vistas of another kingdom you see another reality greater so when men say limitation you say where is it i cannot see because as far as i see i see that my 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 eyes have become attuned to the word of god and it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak when men say there is a casting down you tell them it's only my body that is here but I'm operating from a realm and according to the mysteries of the kingdom when I speak from that realm I enforce the realities of that realm to be present here and now there is a mystery of the anointing very few people understand the anointing let me tell the truth many people have impartations they can lay hands people can fall in the meeting but see, you can interact with the anointing. He said an anointing can teach you. Spiritual things have personalities, including the anointing. You can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation. This is not about apostle. This is not about prophet. This is about ascending to the hill of the Lord. And you will stand in his holy place. There's an army rising up because some of you will be the, not everybody but there's an army they are rising up forget about the limitations of today there's an army rising up and they will break every chain break every chain hallelujah can i have seven people please just any seven people just just come and stand here i want to show you something just just stand here see okay, want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand one two three four five six the bible says listen from the book of revelation it gives us an idea is that the best is that all the volume don't be afraid go ahead and just it tells us 
that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven. Are you following me now? In ancient times, the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature and it was folded in scrolls and it was tied with seven seals. Seven being the number of perfection. Are you getting me? And there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it, they will unlock the seals. Unlock the seals. The seven seals. The moment they open the seven seal, the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do, do you understand what i'm saying <sighs> no matter how much you press into god listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what i'm saying no matter how you press into the things of God, there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that. Let me show you something. Second Corinthians 4. Can we project that? If we can have it, um, preferably... Okay, 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 4, verse 1 in Amplified. If we can have it in Amplified. Everybody read it. Amplified, if we can get it. Dominion. 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 Standing on the mysteries of the kingdom. Sita palava kurata palava. Are we ready? Please, let's read. One to read. Can we have it amplified? No amplified. All right. Read. One to read. Stop. And what? Of what? What did he call them? Who is a steward? Answer me. Who is a steward? A steward is what? You trust a man with something, a job to do or to hold something for you. Is that true? The Bible says that there are certain people, it's not because of their fasting or prayer. It's an election of grace. By the predeterminate counsel of God, they have been made stewards of the mysteries of God. Please listen to me. And kick away this junk in the body of Christ many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say forget it is is it are they worshiping a man there is a difference between human worship and honor are you hearing my point there are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of god are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what i'm saying so because of this god grants them unusual encounters unusual light unusual illumination and every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level are you getting what i'm saying that's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors talking against men of god talking against every you know all kinds of things there are people who are experts they come and analyze men of God, sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody. Including pastors. We sit down and we are just talking. Can I tell you something? There are stewards of the mysteries of God. Never forget this. And let me tell you, you will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to God, to
to his office and to the anointing. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is a powerful revelation. It says, let a man so account of us. This is Paul speaking. Let's look at Ephesians 3. Please, quickly, Ephesians 3. And so, the job of these apostles and these prophets and these people, their assignment is to unlock these seals. Open them up. What is the law that governs the miraculous? Why is it still a mystery in the body of Christ? It should be a mystery to unbelievers, not Christians. But why is it still a mystery? Because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated. Why is wealth still a mystery in the body of Christ? Because there are custodians of that mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It says in, in, in Isaiah 51, don't turn there. It says, look unto Abraham. Did he say look unto the patriarchs? He mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing. See, if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works, you will be cheated. Hallelujah. Your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend. And those mysteries are not just hidden in the Holy Ghost alone. They have been delivered here and now. Every, see, anointing does not leave the earth to heaven. Are you getting my point? No, go and read your Bible. Anointing does not leave earth to heaven. That means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from Bible days till today, the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now. Hidden in vessels of clay. And when those people are recognized and their ministries appreciated, you will enter dramatic levels. Hallelujah. Ephesians, verse 2. Paul says, If ye have heard of the dispensation of what? The grace of God which is given to me. Paul said a grace was given. What was the grace? Verse 3. How that by how that by by revelation he made known unto us unto who? Unto me the mystery. Paul was not the greatest of the apostles but he said for whatever reason I cannot explain. But he called me and committed unto me a mystery and so you will hear paul again and again speak and say behold i show you a mystery brothers and sisters listen please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny the answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay and is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom if you can have the eyes to see it something happened i'm sure some of the protocol people will be there there's there's a lady here who brought some people those of you who know plateau state from gindiri one of the local governments oh just somewhere around the local government there some people came they wanted to make it for the miracle service but they could not make it for the miracle service they came, the whole family, and they came in for counseling. They came with their father completely paralyzed. Hallelujah. Completely paralyzed. The first thing that moved me was the fate of these people. This man had been a teacher for more than 35 years, so he's not an idiot. Two of the children are doctors. They are not fools. And they left all the way. They listen to just one koinonia message or a number of koinonia messages really and the man said they should take him and bring him to zaria can you imagine that a whole family entered their car and they drove when i saw them i opened my heart and i said lord what is the meaning of this and then back to first corinthians 4 please the lord began to let me know that look son i don't do these things because you are indispensable I don't do these things because you are one superman by grace 
I have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom. There are many people, listen, I'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day. He said, man of God, I've been watching you from a distance and I really appreciate you. I have seen the grace of God in your life and, and, and all of that. And uh, I, I just, maybe once in a while, uh, I'll just come and uh, we'll just maybe rub minds together. I told him, get out of this place. You are a very irresponsible young man. You don't know how to receive. You are a foolish boy. And, and trust me, I don't mean pride. Are you getting my point? I don't mean pride. When you understand that there are stewards, even if, see, that steward can be your child, your blood child. Are you getting my point? You keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve. When that man got down, the protocol people can testify and started walking he went and ate the miracle that happened right now they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and i'm just wondering and i say this from the depths of my heart i say oh lord how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems there are certain graces i don't have i'm not ashamed of it i will never try to venture into certain areas i can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven and you know here, I, we talk about men of God generously. I'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe I'm Alpha and Omega. There are men of God who have seen things. We recommend books, we recommend people. Are you getting my point now? You must create an attitude, that hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom. And when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery, you must learn the art of reception. There are people today who castigate Archbishop Benson Idahosa. Is that true? He's there though, but there are people who still talk about him. Say he brought human worship to Nigeria. He brought all kinds of things. They, they forget the influence. That man went around the world 52 times. 52 times from nation to nation. He demonstrated a level of dominion. Prophet Bob Jones, before he went to be with the Lord, said one time during his encounter, an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is Breakthrough. And he said, I am the one who worked with Archbishop Benson Idahosa. That's what the angel was telling him. Bob Jones does not know Idahosa. Yet, a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you right now, certain mysteries have been given to you, but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual. Is that true? They know that the healing anointing is at work in your life. It may not be there in full measure, but they know. Every time you tell them dreams and you say, I saw myself laying hands like Joseph, they laugh at you. There are some of you entrepreneurial graces and people look at you and say, as broke as you are, this 200 naira trouser. You see, let me tell you, and I've taught it here, I have a responsibility over us in Christ to teach us. Never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of God. If he's not perfect, leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Once you cultivate that attitude of eyeing this, this is not my pastor, this is not my papa, this is not my prophet, you see, the man of God will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him. But it takes more for you to walk in total dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind. If it's not my pastor's book, I'm not reading it. If it's not my pastor's prayer request, I'm not saying it. I, I have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of Christ, especially in Nigeria. Let me tell you, in this country, we are gifted with mysteries. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are men and women of God working in this nation, Nigeria. Some of them are not on TV. Some of them are on TV. Some of them are just little gatherings like this, our own here. Different custodians of mysteries. When you find the flow of what God is doing, 
plunge into it with all your heart and you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder something will happen there are people here right now who come in from kaduna every week there are people who come in every time i remember i was talking somewhere and i told the people i said i may not claim to know all the mysteries of revelation there are few revelations here and there that god has committed to me hallelujah there are certain things ah, yeah, but there are some things god gave i know it are you getting what i'm saying when jesus appeared to me i know that specific things were given i limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given while appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of christ if you're looking for excellence we are doing our best but we may not be the absolute model of excellence when you're looking for maybe the teaching anointing we may not be the absolute model of it but let me tell you something i understand how to enter the presence of god oh yes i know that i can tell you this i can tell you this this is why the meeting was called koinonia i didn't choose the name it came from heaven it's a revelation there are some things that are given to people as an office when you recognize it hallelujah one of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of god in nigeria is pastor chris many people just knew the power of god they didn't know the presence of god hallelujah there are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of christ there are certain people who have introduced wisdom there are certain people who have introduced leadership we keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us see let me tell you i'm teaching you this is the word from the lord i didn't plan to talk about this thing but god is speaking to you zip your mouth as far as talking about men of god is concerned hallelujah i used to talk a lot about men of god years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down she said my son you are going very far what you see today you may see better tomorrow so it's better to keep your mouth from that day i repented and i vowed if you hear me talk about a man of god and call his name i'm saying something good many of us arrogantly move around talking about people talking about all kinds of things whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free are you hearing what i'm saying let me give you one example they are looking for chibo girls is that true for how long have they been looking for them are they not true prophets in this country who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of god let me give you an instance apostle johnson suleiman are you following me what is wrong with embracing the ministry to say servant of god we believe we know what god has given to you the kings in ancient time were not arrogant people when there was trouble they found the vessels hallelujah johnson suleiman was saying something he said one time i listened to one of his teachings and he said he was watching i think he was watching pastor chris or so it was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons and he said he looked at him he said but no come on the presence of god this is a man of god this is a man of god and i honor this man of god he said he was in abba and he was going for a program that night he said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground he said when he went back to his hotel room he said oh lord what is this hallelujah there are custodians of the anointings there are men like benny Hinn who carry the visible manifestation this is what took me to south africa i didn't go for tourism i went desperate for an anointing I saw that man, Kobus van Rensburg, single-handedly, he had raised more than 12,000 wheelchairs and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. And I went, I said, I'm going. I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian hallelujah see i was so hungry i stayed in the uh, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church and when it was time i i sat there i think it was row two i sat down there passionately and hungry before kobu started anything 
even before the pastor's conference started he called me out by prophecy and he looked at me and he said i see you being like paul you will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom all through the pastor's conference he laid hands on me again and he taught a teaching oh god kobus taught something about the fathers of old let me tell you how mad that man was he went round a tour him and his friend right they went to maybe they will say this is the pulpit that maybe alexander the way used and you carry a handkerchief and clean it lord there is an anointing on it and he took it and threw it inside anointing oil they went to the grave of william branham they said when they got to the grave two of them fell on the floor under the anointing Men, the people who buried him did not fall but many years a man came with a hunger and an anointing from the bones of that general the man who saw squirrels rise up form and enter the wilderness like elisha they fell and he said what will i do now he caught the grass close to the side of the grave and he dumped it inside the anointing oil it's not witchcraft it's hunger separate witchcraft from hunger separate human worship did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil my eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference they said it's time for lunch i said lunch am i a fool i leave nigeria and come here to eat lunch i sat down i was i was i was hungry and then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on when i came i didn't choose one i just laid down on all of them not just one person people were just picking one and looking at it and crying there was no room for that i laid down and i said lord every impartation from this man whatever made them living wonders i rolled on the pictures i did everything hallelujah and when i did that kobus gave me a gift every time he's under an anointing a very heavy anointing he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material and he gave me the gift of one of those materials and one day he looked at me he said was it Andrew Murray or who was that now no Lester Sumro laid hands on him and Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro and he looked at me he said come i want to connect you to the lineage of the generals and he laid his hands on me i carried that experience i said i'm done with south africa thank you jesus i'm on my way back when i came i prayed it out and let me tell you i knew i knew i saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us just joking and making noise it wasn't up to 15 minutes two of them were under the anointing i said thank you jesus we, we, we need to focus hallelujah i'll never forget that time pastor chris called those of us who were from the north i was a member of christ embassy but i joined i said let me see who will stop me see many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom i'm challenging you tonight i'm not just entertaining you and i stood there people were looking at his suit i was looking see elijah said if you can see me you need a level of focus church is not where you just come and look at decoration look at it before and after the service during the service your spirit just like some of you as you're sitting here there, there's something in your spirit you are saying oh lord i know that if i focus i will get something hallelujah Reinhard Bonke. I told you about the stories of Reinhard Bonke. I saw miracles in that man's life. And I followed him to Joss. Stood for six hours standing close to a pregnant woman who would lean on me occasionally. I said, Madam, we are all standing. We are all standing. But I understood that issue. But I told myself, if my legs would break, my legs were shaking at a point. I'm not exaggerating. But I looked at Reinhard Bonke. He had finished preaching. Simple preaching. Like many of you will say he's boring. No rema. Let your pride kill you there. And don't humble yourself. No rema. I need somebody who will explode me. Ah, I said, Lord, even if he's just laughing, I'm, at, I'm still there. 
I'm attentive. For the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Renard Bonke finished taking the water. Hallelujah. And when it was time to pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he said he would take water. The moment he would take water, there were probably hundreds of thousands of people there. For the first time, I saw a bed that would be bigger than this auditorium. A large bed, white bed, and there were silvery, silvery substances coming down. It was just hovering around. Ah, was I dreaming? Goodness, what is this? Nobody else was seeing it. And I saw it was moving around. Ah, so this is the mystery behind the impartation. That Reinhard Bonke can pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the baptism at once. Not to lay hands one by one, no, to pray for people. When I saw it, I knew something came upon me. Listen, let me tell you, I was focusing on that experience. By the time the bed disappeared, I was back in the stage. I didn't even know when I had turned. I was so focused. Only God knows when I turned. Hallelujah. I saw people crying, being emotional. I had no time for all those things. I, see, when you see me listening to a man that I honor, I can slap you if you, are if, you are, if you are disturbing me. I sit with all my heart. When Maurice Orulo came to Dunamis, I saw a lot of pastors who have no business with Dunamis. They came and humbled themselves. I said, may God bless you. This is wisdom. Hallelujah. The guy was just talking you know how boring he preaches i said lord uh, this thing looks boring but goodness i won't be a fool i'm listening when you come for koinonia i may be joking now like some of you are just looking and laughing but graces there are distributions of graces going some of you just get up and leave and find out that some things have suddenly become possible whereas there are others i know joshua selman is my personal friend I know this guy. I know my man. I even know the worship team. Is he not Sam? Abba. Sam. Sam the Mwingirwa Tare. And you'll be talking all this nonsense. And they are carrying the mysteries of the kingdom. Let me teach you. Learn a lesson from today. It's not human worship. But don't fool yourself. All men are not equal. They are equal in Christ. But grace has separated men into cadres. And if you recognize this. It's not human worship. It positions you to receive and then you too will rise and begin to bless others. Hallelujah. I remember when I was going to minister in Akma Miss Church. When I got to the church, people were clapping. Everybody was pointing, this is Joshua Selman. When I got there, I got down on both of my knees, publicly in the presence of everybody. And I greeted the man. He doesn't know me. I got down on my knees and I greeted him. And I got up and I sat back. I will never see a man of God that is ahead of me that I know and not honor this man deeply from my heart. Hallelujah. I was tired of making foolish decisions and I looked at Mike Mudok. People used to criticize him and say he's a seed, seed man. I said, call him whatever you want to call him. I streamed life for hours listening to him. The day I had a dream, I pursued Oyedeko. I pursued Oedeko till he visited me in my dream. Hallelujah. Till he visited me in my dream. What are you pursuing? What is worth your time? What is it that is worth your refusing to embarrass yourself? When Oedeko knelt down for a day boy to lay hands on him, ushers quickly ran. He turned and said, you, you think I came here to play? He said, I'm kneeling down to get something tangible you are just moved by emotions hallelujah sinach came into koza last week i was in my room streaming and praying in tongues honoring that woman of god i said lord we want our worship team to carry that kind of presence so we will not cast we i i said if i cannot sow a seed or do anything to her let me pay the price with my internet and i was praying in tongues my the earphone was there i was just praying i said lord on behalf of our worship team are you desperate 
to catch the mysteries of the kingdom are you desperate hallelujah elijah followed elijah elijah said mr man go he said no way kill me many of you don't have the gods and the desperation it takes that's why i'm telling you that the anointing of the spirit is not just dash that falls there is a hunger I carried a seed here from Zaria and I went to Canaan land to go and look for God's servant. And we got there, I dropped the seed and I knew I left that place with a tangible anointing. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was speaking and he said he went to a hotel room where they told him Benihin had stayed there. He said Benihin stayed here. He said how long? They said about three weeks ago he locked himself. He started praying. He rolled on the bed. He said, I'm sure he used the toilet. He went to the toilet. Sat. No, no, no. You, you see people walking and you don't know what they do. I cried when Charles and Francis Hunter, many of you know them. The healing evangelist died. Because I was already making plans to go to the US. What was my plan? My plan was to go and beg them that I want to scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wasn't going for title. I was hungry. In one meeting, brothers and sisters, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100 wheelchairs. Don't tell me that is trial and error. They did it laughing. Hallelujah. When I started the preparation, they died. I cried like a baby. And then I played their, their VCD. I said, oh Lord, you see my heart. And you see that I truly intended to get this anointing. I know where I'm going. And I know that what I have is great, but it's not enough to take me there. So I humble myself and receive. Many of you, God brought you here. But week in, week out, you just come and you casually play. When the worship people are ministering, there's no sense of reverence that, look, these are oracles of God ministering. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The first prayer point is repentance for neglecting the custodians of the mysteries of God in the body. There are many people who say, me, it's, it's me and the Holy Spirit alone. Let me tell you, there are certain things, no matter how close you are with the Holy Spirit, He will recommend you to vessels that, he has, that are already carrying it. I know a woman in this nation, if she prays for you, if you are single, if she lays hands on you, your husband is going to come. And your wife will come this is not all these prophets people around moving around i know this one by the spirit hallelujah yet there are still people do you know that there are people that one word they will speak to you it will terminate barrenness is that true brothers and sisters how many barren people are still moving around they would rather die than humble themselves there are people today to come and sit down in koinonia and receive they would rather go and get the message and hide somewhere and listen and come out and disregard everybody and they find out that there is a distance in between them and the anointing john followed jesus to the cross he said i must see the end of this mystery it was only john who saw physically the mystery of the death of jesus and the cross all the other people ran away. He understood the mystery of the cross. That's why hot oil could not kill him. There was something he saw that the remaining disciples did not see. What do you need to see tonight that will take you out of where you are? Brothers and sisters, all things are available in the spirit. There are some of you, you are in ministry. You have been struggling for years. Someone sent me a text and said, how do you do with this crowd thing? Is it just... I heard of a woman who said forget about this young man you know all these young men these days the things that they do every time god wants to use a vessel to bless you beware because satan will begin to discredit that vessel so that when he strikes you your arrogance will not allow you to run for help but tonight god is giving you wisdom this is how the kingdom works when the ass was missing was Saul listen Saul the son of Kish he was destined for royalty 
but when the ass was missing they didn't waste their time to say oh god also speaks to us remember that was what aaron and miriam did they said kai god moses cannot be the only one you are speaking to what nonsense is that and god said ah a cloud came and left miriam leprous it was the leprosy that that moses was cured of when god was dealing with him there are custodians of mysteries americans have lost it when they stop honoring the vessels that carry this anointing balance your grace message so that it does not rob you of stepping into anointings the bible says believe in the lord your god and you shall be established he said believe his prophets and you shall prosper there are men who have been granted stewardship hallelujah i'm going to Elorin, i think in two or three weeks and i'm telling you those people are so excited in that city they've been listening to koinonia messages let me tell you something i met two women in all sincerity the women told me that they pray and fast every week what's their prayer that god should speak to me to come and open koinonia in abuja that's their prayer they have taken it as a burden upon themselves because they believe that God is doing something they want to receive. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more. Got to be more. Help me say. There's got to be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things and we press in There's gotta be more, gotta be more Gotta be more than this Sam was here when Panam was doing how many years in ministry? Panam was doing 40 years in ministry After Koinonia, Sam left this and went to Abuja to go and celebrate with him Many people look at Panam and they feel, ah, this. See, when you see a man with results, even if it is joke, something made it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it was just like that, it would have happened everywhere. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. There are some of you who are sick in your body. You are carrying all kinds of sicknesses. You've seen the miraculous thing God is doing in this place. But you are not yet interested. There are many of you who are supposed to be working in acute levels of the anointing. See, with the kind of atmosphere you've been seeing. The presence of God that is supposed to find expression in your life should even scare people. But many of you, you come in and you move around. I see people who come from other states and once the service is over, they are looking for every and anything. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Yeah. Hallelujah. I remember in 2007, I was in Port Harcourt. I've told you the story. That was when the wealth anointing hit me. I know it entered me. God told me to give everything that I had home and abroad. I dragged it and when I went and dropped it, I went back outside. It was an overflow like this. I went outside. I sat down angry. Not angry, but ha! Ah, I knew I gave my Isaac. I knew this one was not Ishmael because there was nothing again. My faith was not hanging on anything. And when I sat down, the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth that was what the lord told me it didn't say you are rich the lord told me you have entered wealth hallelujah i will never forget 
four days after somebody calls me by 6 10 in the morning shaking under the anointing and saying is this joshua selman i say yes who are you who gave me your number he said that's not the issue please send me your account number i say who are you you know so that you will not be a 419 person when an anointing is on your life it is on your life it has come if it's not there you can fake it you can say i know koinonia i know everything if it is on your life it will be evidence to everybody hmm. he said the spirit of elijah doth rest upon elijah tonight we are going to pray greatness is what god wants to give us in this season and let me tell you if you will pray tonight from the depths of your heart you will receive something there are many of you your ministry will accelerate if that healing anointing comes upon your life there are many of you you have prophetic graces there are many of you you are you are totally confused there's free counseling here by the grace of god people criticize me and say i i am not accessible on mondays i'm i'm sitting and meeting people from morning till night till night anybody no discrimination i don't delegate people i sit down and listen to people and by the wisdom of god we hear what god has to say there are people who are sitting do you know there are people who live around this neighborhood who have never come for koinonia they will just bring chair and sit down outside and enjoy it and say i know koinonia more than you Whereas other people are coming from Kaduna. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more. Hallelujah. Where's Morgan? I think he, he was he sent me a text about his genotype. There are people who still doubt, they think we are faking it here. Hallelujah. From the day Pastor Jakes, hallelujah, and his wife to be were healed, their genotypes changed from as to aa from that day we have seen that miracle again and again there are some of us trusting god but you see that and say is it really true again and again you hear of all kinds of testimonies god blessing people hiv whole families have been healed of hiv with medical proofs i'm not an idiot we are not liars here we don't fake anything if it doesn't happen it did not happen you were with me yerima where is yerima not here were you in, in mina the crusade we had it was jodika where is he these guys follow me for my meetings and they know the things that god the pfn people by the second day of that crusade look they line sick people there were all kinds of crippled people, deaf and dumb. I've, I've never seen heterogeneous miracles in quantity and quality. I, I knew an anointing came upon me. But there's somebody. You have been coming every week. You are so used to it. Now you are waiting for the meeting to finish. Whereas someone traveled and said, Lord, if you are real, I have left all the way and I've come. If it's to die here, kill me here and the person will get up and live with an anointing i met a woman in abuja and the woman looked at me and she said man of god your messages that i've not listened to they are not more than four i have never seen you but i've listened to the messages there are some of you here we 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 mortgage the millions and millions of naira that would have made from tape and cd ministry so that nobody will have an excuse not to hear the word of god I listen to every koinonia message every i don't sit down and say it's joshua selman i listen when there is a prophecy i get down on my knees and i open up my heart i don't want to be the kind of man of god that is blessing others and dying it must work in my own life hallelujah there are many of you you are seeing 
Tomorrow, Annie is going to get married. How many of you remember when I prophesied at the beginning of the year that the Lord told me there will be supernatural marriages even for people who did not expect? I'm sure many of you heard it and say it's just one of those things. The trouble is that many of us always think that these things are just joke or a way of carrying out a program. I wish you knew the spiritual preparations that go through for one coin on your service. One coin on your service. Tonight we are going to pray. We are going to contend for this anointing for greatness because it's available. Anything, listen, anything that is not working in your life, you have not known how to receive it because it is available here and now. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. In these few moments, please, I want you to pray. Whatever is this, if your chair is distracting you, pack it up. We are going to enter a, a moment of prophetic prayer. There is something we need to travail and birth in our spirit. The goal is not for Joshua Selman to be one great superstar. All of us, I believe, are custodians of this mystery. You can step into levels of glory. There are some things that can begin to work in your heart. Lift up your voice. Listen, hold on. The first prayer point is a prayer point of repentance. You're going to say, Lord, I repent about talking about any man of God at all. I repent. I've been the one carrying my big mouth, castigating people from today. I repent. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray inside and outside. Shekete Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. Matoko protoko sopata. I repent in the name of Jesus. I repent. Pray. Koinonia, pray. Lekete prosko do boko sopa baba baba baba. prata shakata. Lekete prekete belarabos. Monto prondos coprende shekete. Lekete prokoto balarabos. I repent, oh God. I repent for castigating custodians of the mysteries of God. I repent for disregarding men and women that have been trusted to be stewards of the mysteries that produce dominion and authority. Pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't look at anybody. Those outside, pray. There's enough space for you to pray. Walk around and pray. And say, Lord, from today, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. From today, I celebrate what you are doing in the body of Christ. I may not understand it, but I celebrate it. Atabarata koshoto baba baba lembrekete kete rekete koshoto baba baba your breakthrough is in the hands of anointed vessels they are custodians of the stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom they are stewards the anointing has been given to them please pray that's how it works pray <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus shout it in the name of jesus 
from today i repent i'll never find myself castigating a man of god from today i receive grace to appreciate to celebrate and receive of the grace that they have prayer point number two I say lord now i know that there are graces available my life is in need of the ministry of certain graces visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my life oh god is in need of the anointing upon your servants that anointing contaminates terminal disease it can open you up to new realms of power please pray pray some of you are just watching pray everything we are going through there is an anointing that can take you out of it there are stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom whatever you are going through there are anointings that can take you out of it if you can see it if you can celebrate it if you can recognize it you will come out of it hallelujah hallelujah there are many of us listen every relationship you enter is not working it means that there is something you need to have there are great vessels that god has anointed reverend funke felix adejumo dr mrs becky Enenche. when have you taken their materials to say lord the anointing on these women he must come and resolve these marital issues you can brag around waste your time and remain unmarried forever or take a step and change your life there are books by kenneth copeland on prosperity there are books by oyedeko there are books by david Ibiome. these are men that carry prosperity mantles it's obvious everybody knows that they carry it you can argue it but they carry it their programs are free on air when it's time your job is to castigate and criticize and compare revelation and condemn the man and say this revelation is too childish pray and say lord let me locate the grace that is required to take me to the next level lift your voice and pray show me show me the mystery Oh, show me the grace. Level. I am tired of where I am. Pray, 
Hallelujah. And the servant of Saul told him, Sheila. He said, Come, let's go to a city. Sheila. For there is a man of God there. Sheila. When we meet him, he will reveal Sheila. to us where this ass is lost. Sheila. And they went. Sheila. They took an offering and they went. And before they came, Samuel had seen them. And he took Saul. Sheila. He said, Is it not because God has anointed you? Hallelujah. Listen, you are going to pray. There are graces and mantles that God has put upon this ministry. You can choose to argue it. But if you believe, you can place a demand with 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 passion in your heart and say oh lord whatever is working here can't it work in my life can't it work in my life lift your voice and pray
Hallelujah. I'm going to mention a few graces and you will pray them into your heart. Hallelujah. See. It's not enough. Listen. It's not enough to know Bible. It doesn't solve your problem. It's not enough to know Bible. Fire, fire. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you, you will know not just what Bible says, but how to activate the principle. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let the spirit of revelation fall upon me tonight. Come on now, Koinonia. this very prayer point i want you to pray with all your heart lift your voice and say in the name of jesus lord open my eyes to see the mystery behind wealth and prosperity pray one more time many of you will be surprised open my eyes so God. show me the mystery what did you show the power that made them command and prosper I'm tired of level Oh, 
behind the principles, behind the principles, there is a hidden truth. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. Pay the price. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Hallelujah. Lord, show us, O God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Hallelujah. The next prayer point we are going to pray. You're going to say, Lord, separate me for influence. Listen, you will never be able to legislate. See, I see a lot of people. How many of you have seen people go to places and they want to show that I am the boss? When a mantle for influence is on you, you can go to a place and hide, and they will still come and pick you out. It's an anointing. You don't try to claim it and say you didn't give me a seat. He said, because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above, above. Oh. Lift your voice and say, Hallelujah. This meeting is called Koinonia. Every time men look at your life, there is a presence you must carry. You must carry the manifest presence of God. Otherwise, we are faking it. We are not talking of power. We are not talking of people falling down. We are talking of a, you introduce an atmosphere, a presence that everyone around you, whether at work, in class, at home, when you are seated, there is a presence. Everyone comes around you and they know that there is a presence upon your life. You are going to pray. Say, oh God, the mystery that governs the revelation of your presence. Release it upon my life. Your presence. I'm tired of struggling. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is the yoke destroying, burden removing anointing in this place. Oh, yes, there is. Absolutely. The yoke destroying, burden removing anointing that you can take and command all kinds of deliverances. You step into a place and chains are broken. No matter how hardened that spirit is, pass of Listen. Hallelujah. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the power to break chains and smash the gates of hell. Oh, May it jump upon me right now. Bruce, Lift your voice Lastly, before I pray for you, one of the biggest secrets of my life is my passion for God. It's not just love for Him. There is an addiction for God that if you do not have, you will never enter certain realms of glory. There is an addiction. Everywhere I go, I carry this like a cancer. There is an addiction. Many of you are going to pray and say, Lord, give me an addiction for you. An addiction for the kingdom. Let me love you with my life. Let nothing be too great that I cannot give you. Let nothing be too great. 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 Let me love you with my life. 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 Oh, 
Listen, when you get to this level, you will see the glory of God. You will see the hand of God. His hand will rest upon you. And then you will become a living wonder. It's like you are, it's like oil is dripping. That's the realm that says, thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Oh. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, and receive something that will take you to a new level of greatness. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sing it one more time. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Hallelujah. He that cometh unto God must believe. You must believe that that sickness will leave. You must believe that that infirmity. Let me see how many of us are trusting God for. You brought someone who is sick. You are trusting God for healing for yourself. Let me see your hand. Inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Honestly. You, you came trusting God for healing. See, let me tell you. Healing is a very easy thing. Very easy thing. Healing does not just depend on God alone. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no time to begin to talk to you about all of this, but let me show you something. Come, Pastor Femi. Watch this. If Pastor Femi has Qatar, everybody look up. If Pastor Femi has Qatar, did he, and I stay close to him, what happens to me? What happens to me? most likely i'll contact that qatar did he pray that i will get it did i choose to receive it but it happened to me are we to if a man can impact sickness why can't i release health are you following what i'm saying no listen listen when it comes to healing we just say it's just god alone but when this guy was sick i he came with a sickness there are even certain diseases they say don't come close to the person because he has the ability to transfer it to you his presence implicates you are we together now so why can't a man take the reality of the life of god within him and communicate it to you but you don't believe it you see because we are already conditioned the Bible says, listen, before you ever receive anything, you must believe in God and also believe in the vessel that he's using. When you hear that somebody has a particular kind of sickness, especially a communicable one, please help if it's under the anointing yourself. Are we together now? Listen, brothers and sisters, these are not ordinary hands. You see, watch this. You, you, I know you are looking at a physical body. But this is only an expression. You never say, I am eyes. You say, I have an eye. Who? The you. Your spirit. 
possesses a quality. You don't see with your eyes. You see through it. Right? The Bible says the first Adam, listen, listen, the first Adam was a living soul. He said the second Adam has been made a life-giving spirit. In other words, the first Adam could not transfer his contents to another, although he was enjoying it. But now the second Adam is not just a spirit, a life-giving one, a dispenser. You can dispense your spiritual reality to someone else. You can literally, like lighting a candle, fetch from the abundance of the investment of the spirit upon your spirit and release it upon a people. That means, just like if we, if we announce that this guy has Lassa fever, many of you are going to get up and say, ah, Lassa fever. He, the Lassa fever may not ask you whether you have the ability to believe it. Just by making contact, whether it is through air, it is through water, are we together but what of the anointing of the spirit is it so bound that it cannot reach you is it so bound that it cannot touch you what of the life of god what of the wisdom of god i want you to expect if you have this revelation then the man of god does not need to come close to you that you are sitting there are virtues of wisdom there are virtues of power there are virtues of grace. There are impartations. All kinds of things happening. If you sit under the atmosphere, conscious of it, you will receive it. But if you sit down wondering and say, wow, great things are happening. It doesn't happen that way. There is no man of God that is ordinary. There is no true man of God that God has anointed. You may just look at this as ordinary hands. Biology tells you these are just ordinary hands. But it's more than this. There is a mystery surrounding it. You hear the words that I speak. The same way you cannot see the sound, but you cannot deny its effect. You are hearing it. Are we together? I'm not just speaking from my vocal cords. I'm speaking from my spirit, man. So together with that sound, it, there is an anointing that is living and entering into you. When it's time to pray, some of you will stand up and find out all of a sudden I've been healed. My goodness, where is this growth? It has disappeared. If a man's leg starts swelling, we never ask where the body found the added flesh to make it swell. But when it shrinks, we say, where did the flesh go to? Are we together? If someone like me now has my leg two times the size, nobody will say, but where did the body get the extra flesh to add to it? But if it disappears and comes back, people say, ah, ah, where did it go to? Condition your mind to believe God condition your mind to believe god is able are we together now bless you and you see let me encourage pastors especially when you come here don't just watch and be happy i'd like you to not just look but see because in seeing there are things you receive don't sit down carelessly and just say wow Kai, this guy is anointed no that's not the goal the goal is that it is and it's not just to inspire you it's not inspiration. There is an impartation. A transference of spiritual quality. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You've got to be tired. You've got to insist that God will step in. There are impossible situations in this place and I admit that some of them are humanly impossible. There is no way. But don't don't play with God. Once you bring God into the equation, step back. You'll be foolish to bring God and still be wondering, will he do it? The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God, can God make a table in the wilderness? Oh yes, he can. Hallelujah. Are you ready for what God will do in your life tonight? Are you ready to insist that the word of God must find expression? Please, let me tell you, if you don't believe in what we're saying, don't waste your time. Just go home. So that you don't sit down in this cold and waste your time. And after koinonia, they ask you, what did you receive? You just smile and say, Kai, Ayafi Babu. No, no. Because you see, there are people, some of you coming here alone has attracted a lot of mockery. They say, why come and sit down there, a man of God? Can't you pray in your room and God will hear you? Is it not the same God we are worshiping? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Nothing can be farther from the truth. That it looks spiritual, but it's an error. Are we together? The next time anybody tells you that, tell them human beings have prophetic implications. Human beings have prophetic implications. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Say, Lord Jesus, lift my faith tonight. I have faith in you. I've tried medications. I've tried human connections. I've tried everything I know to do, but I come before you. The God of all flesh. The one who can change my situation. Lift your voice and make sure you are praying. Shkabarato sadabariada baladabash. Give me a visitation tonight, oh God. I refuse to be a spectator. You can change my story. Make sure you are praying. Lord, every spirit, go to the root of my problem, so God, that every force of darkness that is responsible for the situations in my life, it must be addressed tonight. It must be addressed tonight. That spirit that has tied my family down, tied my destiny down, tied my womb down. Those outside, make sure you're praying. No matter how far you are, the Lord is seeing your faith. You are enduring the cold because you want your destiny to change. You will not be disappointed tonight. Pray to the God that answers all flesh. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Though you are higher than any other. Awesome in power, our God. Our God. Sing it to him. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than many. Honor. Our God is leader. Awesome in power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing I'm seeing a vision. I'm seeing a vision and in this vision I'm seeing chains. This is what I'm seeing. Before I even start the mass prayer, I'm seeing chains and 
those people affected the power of God is going to begin to come upon them inside and outside I'm seeing chains this is the spirit of delay I'm seeing delay written in the atmosphere delay delay I'm going to begin to pray listen there are people whose lives and destinies have been held bound by the spirit of delay by the spirit of delay no matter where you are inside or outside it's like a force an energy of the spirit i want to help those people outside here lift your hands just keep your hands lifted inside and outside just lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you and as i stretch my hands towards you and begin to speak it's like fire the power of god will begin to come upon such people those who are outside you can stretch your hands just over your your various projectors in the name of the lord jesus that spirit i speak to you in the realm of the spirit you have held the destinies of men and women you have held the destinies of families but the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob will possess their possession therefore i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus and i speak every spirit of delay right now right now right now i stretch my hands by the anointing of the holy ghost i stretch it right now bring them out say yeah of multiplied grace i stretch my hands the angel of the, of the lord are moving row to row row to row row to row it will get to your turn inside and outside row to row if that's not your situation it will not affect you but you will never stand the power of god if this is one of the reasons god brought you here right now i stretch my hand outside lift your hands the angels of the lord are moving lord every row every row i keep my hands stretched that devil of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave the second overflow god is touching people there the second overflow like fire is coming upon people the second overflow that spirit of delay your time is up tonight your time is up tonight maka para dosotos embreketeleko sheketa there's a lady wearing white hair tie the anointing of the spirit is causing that delay that delay right now that delay right now right now right now right now it's a spell it's like a charm i'm seeing it on the heads of people i command that spell that charm of delay you must leave you must leave you must leave I tell you no spirit will stand the power of God tonight no you must let them go in the name of the Lord Jesus I come against you I come against you I come against you. Delay is a dangerous thing. It traps your life so that when you ought to move and make significant progress, 
it will hold you bound there are many lives and destinies that are tied down families please lift your hands the Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families pay attention to what I'm saying because the power of God will move in a mighty way there are families here hear me you love God but you do not know what is at the root of the tragedies of the families there are spirits there are covenants there are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound it may not even be your fault you are inheriting the wickedness of men but tonight lift your hands I want to pray for you 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 as I speak over your life again the Lord is going to be ministering to families it may not have anything to do with you as a person some of you you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on father in the name of jesus i'm praying right now inside the first overflow the second overflow across the road every family that is under the influence of any satanic manipulation lord you will not only identify them they must be free at the count of three i want you to shout i am free are you ready now one two three shake it take it shake it take it take it all tasks all tasks all tasks all tasks I call you by your name and I curse you by the God of heaven. I call you by your name. Altars in Benway State, altars in Kogi State, altars in Kaduna State, altars in the West, altars in the East. My goodness, Shekete Kotokete, Rekete Tekete. Every local government, every state, I set fire on those altars. Fire, 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 fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. Every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee i send the word of judgment i send the word of judgment hallelujah I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening mighty things that are happening hallelujah listen something very strange will start happening here now listen listen to me because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys it just dropped on the ground listen this this is a sign of access in the spirit the lord showed me a vision and i saw in the spirit a bunch of keys now it's not for everybody but i'm about to pray once it comes on you except god did not call me you will see doors open 
is called breakthrough lift your head i stand under this apostolic anointing and in the name of jesus every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three receive it receive it take it now 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 i distribute those keys in the spirit i distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant breakthroughs 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 the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies listen those of you outside i want you to hear me because the holy spirit is going to do something now the lord asked me to come out hallelujah hallelujah now i want down three my goodness there is such anointing in this place and i see the angels the lord the moment you count three i'm going to start moving across this crowd and the power of god will start falling on people whatever has locked your destiny it must open it right now are you ready now those outside please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your role as i pass your role you will stand it as i pass your role an anointing an anointing take it 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 now i stretch my hands take it take it this side receive it take it now 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 i stretch my hands take it now take it now everyone in this row receive it right now receive it right now take it now all those here there is an angel of the lord standing on your row take it now take it now take it now take it now just allow me pass your row as i'm coming there are angels walking with me as i'm coming the power of god will touch you right now i stretch my hands here everyone here right now take it now take it right now take it right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you call this man come this big man come what's your name come now let's hurry up what's your name the lord is saying what's your name daniel daniel from where from edo state sir. from edo state i mean are you in zaria Sorry. you are in zaria i want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night are you hearing what i'm saying as you celebrate them you connect to their prophecy listen because i'm seeing you in a cage this is what i see i've not started prophesying yet but i'm seeing you in a cage and i'm seeing you telling the lord i know that if i come here my situation will change in the name that is above all names i lay my hands upon you and i end that captivity right now take it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ who is grace there's someone grace around here who is grace i'm hearing that the lord is showing me someone grace who is grace please come quickly let's save time come where is your mother zango. zango is she sick my sister is sick don't worry is your mother sick she doesn't even know she's sick 
but she's sick i'm seeing an angel of the lord going to your house and healing two people your mother and your sister are you hearing what i'm saying your mother and your sister what do you do you're a student what do you do huh applicant job applicant do you believe that if i pray for you the lord will give you a job will you come and testify before god's people i lay my hands upon you and i release that job for you in the name of the lord jesus christ from this road down like this there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain because i'm seeing like the angel of the lord is doing something i stretch my hands right now whoever they are the power of god is coming upon them right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that pain that abdominal pain must go it must go right now in the mighty name of jesus christ let me try to walk to the first overflow in the name of jesus christ look at me you will start experiencing the power of god in your life in a very strange way are you hearing what i'm saying i lay my hands upon you right now step into a new season i want to pray for this overflow there are so many people please believe god don't think i've come outside because i want to identify with you so you don't think you are at a disadvantage no distance is no barrier some of you are enduring cold it's touching my heart talk more of the heart of god are you hearing what i'm saying and some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come so just watch it you are just receiving miracles there is an impartation joseph who is joseph here yeah. joseph i'm hearing a name joseph you are wearing like a collar like for cold who is that you are joseph the lord is going to do mighty things through you stand up there's cold so you don't enjoy yourself are you hearing me i want to stay true with god and watch god do great things in your life in the name of jesus i'm seeing two old women they are sitting on the same seat where are they here this row two mama like this where are they is there some who is that the lord is asking me to talk to them just leave them mama do i know you have we seen before i'm looking at you can, can they if they cannot hear we can speak any language can i talk to you mama i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of death over your head don't be afraid i'm seeing the spirit of death over your head and the lord is saying if we don't pray for you that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car it's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing but the lord is saying i should pray for you the second thing is there's no finances at all everything flat is that true is that true in your life is what why you came where is your daughter do you have a daughter huh i'm seeing a lady close to you like a, a i don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not because i'm seeing the lord is saying that he wants to bless her with marriage you are the one okay you are the one standing close to her are you ready to marry because god is going to surprise you do you believe that huh say i receive i receive, I receive. you are not you are you are trying to be a lady but my dear prophecy you see a madman like this i'm only responding to god just out and see what the anointing does shout i receive as loud as i receive jesus christ i break that curse over your head mama you will not die all of you here stretch your hands to her and say mama will not die take us your mother pray for her mama will not die in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah I'm looking at this other mama I don't know what's wrong with this woman but there are three things I see the devil want to do number one eyes ah huh? but two I'm seeing her inside a coffin they have already closed it and there's blood on top of the coffin are you hearing what I'm saying? somebody use her eyes to make money with it this is what the Lord is showing me I'm not a prophet of doom me too like what i'm saying but i cannot but say what god is asking me to say are you here I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um but i'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of god is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life 
of your family and the lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of god is going to come on one lady right now it will be like fire you can't stand it it will come upon you please when that happens let me know that lady right now not just those inside i know god is but this role this role father wherever that lady is i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the spirit of god that she will be located so that her can be free in the name of jesus christ um your name means joy it's a tribal name but it has joy it's like it who is that person please your name means joy that's if you translate your name it has something to do with joy joy or joyful or something like that do we have someone like that please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting if if you are that cop with the protocol who is that what's that come what's your name what I means what child of joy I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time will lay hands on you. And I want that if you go back and see your mom, just ask her to allow you to break through. My hands upon you right now. I don't mean their English names are Joy. What's, what's your name? Yo, from where? Your name is Yah. All of you, your names are Joy. Okay, I'm going to name you. Let me talk to you. Come, my dear. Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you. Because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that He's lifting them up by His grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her, please. Help her so that she Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. For you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Who is that? What's your name? Favor. But there's nothing favorable in your life. And the Lord is saying, change her story. Do I know you? That your name is Favor? I want to pray for you. Do you believe if I pray for you, the Lord will grant you favor? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I restore favor to you right now i restore favor to you by the power of the holy spirit come my dear this lady yes come hallelujah there is an anointing listen there is an anointing um i promise those of you outside by the grace of god hopefully by next miracle service We'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will it will be very clear for you outside. All right. I know that the people did their best, but you can see that the crowds are increasing. Praise the Lord. But there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Kano? I'm seeing Kano. Come, you are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Ah, huh? two of you. 
husband and wife come did you tell me you are coming come she's your friend who is she how are you my dear you came from Kano what do you do I'm sick I, I'm, no you are not just a student there's something else you are doing I'm teaching you are teaching how about her witchcraft is what God is breaking now in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend I command that chain to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands upon you and I I command that chain to go in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I declare you will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God that's what you need you have been praying to fast and help him you fasted that God will give you an anointing it's not an anointing for ministry it's an anointing for fellowship with God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw, I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then number three, is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you ah huh? you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of Jesus Christ all of you here please lift your hands I want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as I pray for you and I count three I want you to shout the name Jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name Jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow I wanted to leave but God is still speaking to me about this overflow please I want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father I'm doing as you have instructed me and I prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of Jesus let the power of God visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of Jesus right now help them right now in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that, that spirit from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as I pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams I command him go 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of Jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of Jesus the lady with the black heart tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes I release that anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ before I leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now 
seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the holy spirit the lord is wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return i stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of jesus there is a spirit i'm dealing with i know what i'm seeing right now right now i judge you by the god of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands a chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus I restore your glory I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please pray and ask the Lord to visit you pray and ask the Lord to visit you aha aha you must go in the name of Jesus you must go 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 any spirit represented here you must leave right now I tell you any force of darkness tying down your life Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with their marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ because you too you have problems but you are not even concerned about your problem you are not concerned about what is happening to your finances you are not concerned about the pain in your back you keep feeling pain in your back when you wait as i enter here i hear my pain go just go away the pain just went away when she came here look at this even before the meeting from kaduna me and my hold on Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you, read, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finish university here and help you. Just this prayer, may we do. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I have a ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. Spring. The spring. In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor. 
this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even it's none of our business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping Amen. are you hearing what i'm saying the lord is wiping your tears Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like the father is related to you. He's my elder. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ... The Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's gone and but we are not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba, what the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else. The devil is just playing, using medicine to play with your mind. This is witchcraft. They have already buried this person and this issue has finished. But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm declaring and I'm speaking to everyone here. I stand under the anointing and I pray for you that every power that is tying down your family, it must leave you this night in the name of Jesus. It must leave you this night. It must go, 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 go go the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the Lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level. Two areas. The issue of barrenness. The issue of barrenness. It will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will come back and testify before the people of God. This thing is being recorded. And the second area. The second area is HIV. 
such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with HIV. Listen, Paul said, I desire to see you. He said that I may impart some spiritual gift. It doesn't matter the age, impartation can happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying, madam? Hold my hands. I want you to shout Jesus and watch what begins to happen to you. Go ahead. Jesus. Father, I pray from today an anointing, an anointing, a transference of grace. An ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today. An ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way. In a strange way. Go and heal the sick. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, madam. Look at me. Come. Watch this. Mommy, lay your hand on him and pray for him. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lay your hands and speak to him. Look at me. You carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness. Anointing is not for show, brothers and sisters. But I tell you, it will scare you. This anointing will bring wealth to you. People will sow into your life because of the impact in her life. Come on. Go, when you go back, lay this picture on your brother and pray for him. God will take him out of that hospital. And when he does, bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of God. The Lord told me he's wiping your tears. Come, sir. What do you do? What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. That's what I'm yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something Federal College of Education you study something that has to do with education business education business education but then it's leadership and God is taking you to that position when you study it he will make you a great leader Amen. are you hearing what I'm saying Amen. wait Mr. Man just wait let me finish I'm praying for you make sure when God blesses you you never forget this woman are you hearing what I'm saying you will never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one. Yes. This, she's, she's not feeling fine. Something is wrong with her. Please let her come. Is God blessing you tonight? Who brought her? Please, who brought her? If you brought her, please come with her so that we we'll know what to do. There's no mind. What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. 
How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Or you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? He got her up as to Alpha now. Carry mic. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry mic. Because I'm trying to, let's make this thing easy. Give him mic, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who will lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other mic. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor. Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, I chug guy by a dog. Ask her question. And she can't know. Tell her, God, heal her of diabetes. Or draw her dog at diabetes. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now, who can nale? And God is going to heal her. Or draw her not to nale. How long has she done something? A quick bow guy to the boy. Diabetes. What couldn't she do? And when money gets you good, and it gets you colon, Mama, ask, tell her I'm going to pray for her, and the power of God will come. Yana Chadwe, buy your jaw, I would give a fine. Um, me and her will run here now. Onku and I rule me, Papa. I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. If we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who down diabetes diabetes in the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus, look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at, are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is up. This is an old woman. Ah, huh? diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus, out of her, Mama. Tell her. Tell her. Then you can that she's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to use her hands. Stop. Walk. Come. Fast. Come. Come, come. Turn around. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at the miracle here. Look at the miracle. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, who come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, who come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, who come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, who come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David. Shout, shout. This miracle remains permanent forever. 
How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now, your eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back you didn't even remember now your stomach is swelling we'll deal with that one i don't know you i'm just just stand there that one is, is an easy something this come the come you have a problem come up the devil I, the devil wants to destroy this lady because if i don't pray for you they will i'm seeing your case getting so serious they will now take you to india for a kidney transplant what's wrong with you what does that mean? How do you know it's The doctor told me I cannot lie on both sides of my head. You can't lie down here? Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil? That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know her? Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our, our daddy. Yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The hold your photo like this sir open it to the third one that's what i want to talk to you about one okay i'm seeing okay i thought it was the third one back i'm seeing another photo this thing is like it's supposed to be three it's not two where is the third one it's a two. that's the one i want to talk about that's why i said take it to the third one you brought two here but the person i want to talk about there is a third one who is in that photo Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know that if 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 you can come for Koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive? Tell somebody Koinonia and see the way demons fight they are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You are a spiritual man. You should know that it's to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening. There is a spirit that converts men. It doesn't happen by default. We must attack it in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this, our lady? Come. 
we are going to pray for this kidney both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem so we are going to pray lay your hands on it please can we pray for this dear one anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us don't say it's not yet my issue uh -uh. pray for her your prayer is working there's a surgery the Lord is doing in her place your hand on her I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost my goodness there's such power flowing I declare a miracle I declare a miracle I declare a miracle stand up stand up what couldn't you do before press it press it right now surprised even her her and her own body she's even surprised that something is happening her and her own body i pray that god will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the lord jesus christ you don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed if you are not anointed you will make a ceremony out of nothing but when that anointing is not about trying to get it done if it's there is there if it's not there is not there my dear check it honestly if there's pain tell us we will not be afraid this god is touching another lady heal her oh god in the name of jesus fire is coming on a lady's throat I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I'd like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth and nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done.
before we continue there's one person from protocol that's what i see in the spirit protocol department the protocol department there's somebody that the lord is touching right now in protocol department wherever you are i really don't care where whether inside or outside but god is touching somebody right now right now in protocol department it's like fire it will just come on you all of a sudden it's a sign and a wonder it's a miracle please let me have those people out there's a reason why i'm calling them out that person from Oshri. who is that protocol department where's the person from where? Welcome. hallelujah bring three of them it's a prophetic language i want to tell you what god is saying through this the first impartation is god prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons so just like an usher brings you it's a prophetic word in the name of the lord jesus christ i release it upon you I release it upon you right now just like an usher takes you into a new level i stand under this anointing and i prophesy enter a new season enter a new dimension in the name of jesus the impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies the lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of jesus christ the lord is ending stagnancy in the name of jesus christ the person from the protocol the lord is saying i will be your defender even in this season i release that word upon your life in the name of jesus christ please everyone that came with a sick person um it's already happening to pastor femi but pastor femi and three members of rema will come under the anointing right now three members who are members of Rema Chapel that's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him it's happening to three people three people who attend Rema Chapel three people in the name of the Lord Jesus it's a new season for you new season for you new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you don't have to bring them out just leave them where they are hallelujah we have five minutes to do this five minutes because there is the session where i prophesy please make sure we are going to try to finish fast but make sure you receive everything don't come and waste your time and stay now all those who came with sick people apart from those who have been healed if you brought somebody sick please bring them out quickly quickly let's lay hands on them give us some question. please quickly the Lord is healing people. There's the healing anointing in this place right now. God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this. What is wrong with me if I don't ask you? Just a touch. Even if you are coming here for the first time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of us who are out here jesus loves you that's why he wants to heal you please i want you to receive you can reject it but i want you to receive it with all your heart as i pray for you you go back check yourself because of time we may not have time to share testimony but hold on please let me say something about testimonies um it is you are robbing god of glory when god gives you healing and blessings there are so many people who god has been touching but they never return to give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her and so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down
Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually. Financially, there is an anointing on you as I speak to you. Financially, spiritually. I'm seeing God step even into your marriage. Our mother is crying. Your marriage. This is the reason why you came. Because there's nothing there. God is stepping in to do a miracle for you. To the glory of his name. Miracle for you. Who is this? Your mom. What's wrong with her? She has, she has been sick three years. And don't, don't even know what. Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in your lab, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Speed! I prophesy it upon you. Never to be the same again. And we pray for healing for Mama. He will testify in the name of Jesus. The anointing is so strong on you. God is bringing restoration in your marriage. God is bringing restoration in your finances. God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life. I command everything the devil has stolen to give way. In the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very good. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh, I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on. What is that? Come now, doctor. You're already there. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer? Cancer of what? So for now, I'm still there for this hospital for this uh, shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. Love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm a born again, sir. You are serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that it's cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspirations. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. 
Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. Die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body, we bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that this cancer will die and it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. So make sure you testify in the name of Jesus Christ. those outside can we rise this is a very prophetic moment hallelujah this is a very very serious moment the requests here contain the names of loved ones I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year there is there is need for massive salvation the Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before and i told him i said lord i'm available so make sure that from now till december you don't come alone we, we are on a mission not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners it's serious business hallelujah please those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests very quickly we have a few minutes now we're going to do it in this order the moment let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time there are people here hear me first overflow second overflow across the road listen there are people here probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus the Bible says for God so loved the world he so loved you 
and he demonstrated that love by giving his all his one and only begotten son please by the way i don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week we are taking a series on the gospel we are going to be examining who jesus is and the message that he brought what is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about god and will be walking in exchange hallelujah for instance let me give you a little preview um the message of jesus when he came his message was just one word repent that's all jesus said repent so we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem to repeat after the man of god what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now. And while the people march forward, please clear the way for them. We'll stretch our hands and be interceding. First for souls. Leave the issue of your needs. We're going to intercede. You wrote their names, you know. Call them by their names and say, Lord, we receive their salvation. If you save me, you can save them. You don't want to watch your family members in hell. And they are calling on you and saying, you know me. We came out from the same womb. But some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many altar calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning in the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life things happen around your life discouragements god didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the lord those two categories of people i'm going to count one to five please for time's sake for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight it's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Shegata prata gada bala da bash. Mam broto koto po shoto prata gada bala da bosh. Raga da barato ko soto prata gada gada bala da bosh. Shekapa bakata bala da bash. Shekapa roko to bosh. Mante kroto skobara bala sh. Lord, we pray for every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul every soul in this place lord save them some of them are not even christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell 
you have great plans for them they need to experience the love of jesus we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls in the name of the lord jesus lord save our fathers save our mothers save our brothers our classmates our colleagues in the office in the name of jesus our families no matter how far they are from the cross bring them to meetings give them encounters holy spirit we permit your ministry in their lives in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah now begin to pray over your request lay your hands over your request by faith and say lord i turn it into a testimony go ahead and pray i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony i turn it into a testimony Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Manifold testimonies. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation wherever they are in the name that is above all names. We authorize these angels to hunt for their souls. They will know no peace till they find the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release dreams we release visions of Jesus. We release encounters with the world. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere they turn to, they will hear the gospel. They will hear it in church. They will hear it in class. They will hear it everywhere. For those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of jesus lord we pray for these requests lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but lord as i walk upon them they become testimonies as i walk upon them they become testimonies and lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the lord jesus christ now those of you who are making this decision for jesus christ i love you from the depth of my heart and i thank you for coming out to accept jesus christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire it's an exciting thing because it looks natural but it is supernatural in every way lift your right hand and say this after me i'm just guiding you but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say lord jesus i love you with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying jesus said i am the way the truth and i am the life say after me again lord jesus i believe in you and i love you 
with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit I'm a child of God my goodness I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit even just right here in the altar right here I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the Holy Ghost instantly instantly because I see the power of God coming on some of you in the name of Jesus say after me from today I'm a child of God the life of God is in me I will never be the same in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit may you become mighty men and women of the Spirit in the name of Jesus may God do great and mighty things in and through your life I really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the Holy Spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of Jesus Christ may you be established in righteousness in Jesus name I pray may God bless you I like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may God bless you in Jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah God bless you please everyone stand everyone stand I want to speak over your life now and please I want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives I believe in the power of prophecy I believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has put. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, pre I prophesy over your life lift your hands Jesus. inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now. I speak against the spirit of limitation. That force from hell. It allows you to move forward, but it will say you will not cross this border. In the name that is above all names. I come under this anointing this night. And I command whatever limit you have seen in your life, I break it tonight. I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream 
every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things i don't care what it is in the name that is above all names i command judgment upon those spirits now i command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep i pray whatever calls you forth in your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of jesus i attack those enchanters I challenge their enchantment in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a man to you can carry it you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor i'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now i release that favor in the name of jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah i pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle god can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it i'm praying for you in the name of jesus christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry believe me when i say this i pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of jesus I pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed I don't care what it is the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family I supply spirit power and I command it to start moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the lord tonight i command you to be completed in the name of jesus i've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help by way listen listen i have seen in my life and i have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters god does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody's zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my god in the name of jesus i don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and february but in the name that is above all names i speak to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east I speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now 
academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now if there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role i pray for you the lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence i want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension i pray for you i don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but i pray listen to what i'm about to tell you in the name of jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now i stand under this apostolic anointing i multiply that grace upon your life i multiply that grace i multiply that healing power i multiply that deliverance power i multiply that grace for favor i multiply that teaching anointing i multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now i pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of jesus i expand your spiritual borders and i compel influence in your life in the name of jesus christ when you open your mouth to call for help i force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of jesus christ i say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help i declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper i speak to the elements of creation i compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of jesus christ i use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth i speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what i'm doing just believe me job said for out of the earth comes bread i command the bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth i call it out in the name of jesus christ i don't know the desires of your heart but i'm praying that between now and the next miracle service that you will come and stand before the people of god and testify to the might of god everything that has brought tears out of your family i judge it right now every career person listen to me we are forcing promotion this year don't say it cannot happen you will fool yourself are you hearing what i'm saying look in the name that is above all names the mystery of lifting may it come upon your life every student here your cgpa has yes and i want to speak to it in the name you had the testimony of that gentleman he didn't even complete the testimony he sent me the text he was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50 i pray for you in the name of jesus especially for those who are just starting 100 level you will start with a mysterious gpa that will shock people i pray for those who have tried and tried but your academics is just hooking you you have done all you know to do i bail you out of it this night in the name of jesus christ i bail you out of it this night in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for you i must pray for your spiritual life encounters that you have never had listen you need encounters in your life you need encounters you hear people like Bishop Oyedeko 
dimension encounters and what he transmitted in them i pray strange encounters with the spirit of god with the word of god that will launch your destiny to another dimension receive it in the name of jesus nothing dies in your hands i say it again nothing dies in your hands those who came from far i prophesy to you you left all and paid the price to come carry an unction that will shock all that know you in the name of jesus christ you will go back to your campuses you will go back to your job you will go back to your homes with a mysterious anointing that will distinguish you in the name of jesus christ i bless you by the power of the holy ghost i declare that the miracles begin in your life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen give jesus a clap of praise hallelujah hallelujah please keep standing just give me a minute or two and then we're done very quickly hallelujah let me know if you get the point hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 